It's a dysfunction. Family without a mother is a dysfunction. When both father and mother go out to work, the family is left to the care of the sister or brother or to the aunts, then my God, remember the Philippines. We have a large number of dysfunctional families. And who are these people who would have the money to pay for the 200 and would have the money always? It's not a big sum. Who are the targets? The sons and daughters of the poor family. Lalo na yung alam nila na may nagkatrabaho sa labas and that is as your income and every month money is sent from the whatever country by the father or mother to support his schooling and his baon and everything and that is why they are working to death there breaking their backs to earn money so that the families here can live and be educated. And you drug people coming in into the picture and destroying the family. My God, I will kill you. Both. Why? Because I love the Filipino. Why? Why? Because I am tough. And so that the foreigners can, I said, come and observe. So you got a feeling of the misery and agony of the people of the Republic of the Philippines. 97% are really poor. It's just about 3% who are holding really, really the money. Now, we're just receiving salaries. Most of us, well, not really millionaires. Members of the SSFGIS, the mga empleado. We earn so much. We earn this little. We set aside a certain amount of our salary, which is at source taken already, GSIS, SSS contribution. How much is the retirement pay? In government, me? Maybe a little less, but all in all, when I retire, 40,000. Judges, much higher, almost 70. The, the, the salary of the mayor is just, when I assume, about 47,000. That is why he was hesitant to, to be sworn into office. You give me 47,000, I have two families to support. So who do I get the money to? Mabuti na lang ngayon. Well, you know, in life, you can never say that you stay happily married with this. You want to. But you know, sometimes it's destiny. I don't know. You are, you ask the, the, the next guy with me, he suffers in the, with the problem also. So, uh, we retire at what age? Uh, 60? 60? Most of the policemen on the average get about 32,000. 
And if you get to live for another 15 years, you think that 42,000 lump sum yen can support your problems of subsistence, health? At 50, Filipinos get diabetes. Are uh, rice, uh, rice eaters? It's the highest uh, Asia because of the rice. It's carbo, hypertension, kidney problems. At 60, it gets to be worse. The, the bills of uh, the medications keep piling up. So when it is already exhausted, to whom do I call for help? my children but because you have destroyed them even if it's only one family in the world because if you have already castrated the family maybe if you live for another 20 years you won't even be able to pay your coffin or your boot real that is why I am angry. Kaya ako galit. And people from Davao tell you, Bebo is here. The LFTRB chairman is there, Eileen. John, John Canvante is not there. He was just assigned there, a soldier. Look around you. You ride a chapter. I used to do that uh, when I was um, during the campaign and until now. You see this subdivisions, Magaganda, uh, meters apart. Then we fed the fence there is there. See, probably. Going up uh, north, see the humanity. Kita mo yung mga bahay na all squatters, all poor, all susceptible or really easy target for drug. And the drug people, they have this uh, children's uh, schooling in Australia and the United States, you have houses there, big mansions, they enjoy life and we suffer. So what do I, what do, I do with you? You remain here? You let me... Then I said, by the way, Duterte talks, it would appear according to the human rights analysts. You know, Roger 30, the way he talks, it is as if he was really the one who did the order. Tarantado ko pala, sino pala? Must be an openly stupid guy. Worse! I said, go out and destroy. Drug is an organized crime. You have to start with the tentacles. Then the organs and the body itself, because it is an organized crime. Mahirap ka, you are bored. Well, I'm sorry. When I took my oath of office, I said, I will enforce the law equally against all. It doesn't say against all, but never mind, with the exception of the poor. Does that say anything about it? Me? At this uh, point, you know, why? Because you are rich? Well, you are wrong. Because you are poor? Still wrong. I'm just a lover. Period. <laughs> Ito ang slaves ngayon, ang problema. That is why we have to be, be vigilant. Not only sa airports, but we're quite successful sa Davao. 
I don't know how can we, we can improve the mechanisms. But, uh, you know, uh, this is a democracy. The right to travel is a constitutional right. This is the more big alien. You can, you can get sued for that. Uh, you, you. But again, uh, Dito, in my time, ito sa immigration, at least yung mga OFW, wala nang kuskus ngayon. And uh, when you, I'm sure that when you came in, no more inspection of the bags and, you know, getting things there that, that uh, I've disallowed that already. I mean, you're uncomfortable. Noon sa immigration, matagal ang proseso kay marami pang kinukutso-kutso ka just to left and right. I think in, in my time, is, uh, there is none. Kasi pag may mag-report po tayo, nasisipain talaga kita. That's why I, I, I fired a high government official today. I will not mention his name because I do not want to shame the family. Kasi mga anak niya, baka doktor na, kaya nang iba. But guna na talaga ang paa ko. <laughs> so sabi ko, maganda yung sapatos mo. Mine, you can take a look at it. Really, I'm going to Smarikina. Toto. Wala, hindi ko na nga. Buhayin ko ba rin ko yan ngayon. Yung kay... Wapat mo tinatago. Uh... Nag-atras ka agad yung pa para hindi makita yun. By the design, I think that is... Hindi, uh, ano ito? Hmm... Tiga... Pagawa ng pabango? Hindi, mahina yan. Yung... May, may binigay sa akin. Ako, marami ako. At toto. Hindi ako nangubala. Tanggalin ko. It's Rolando Santos. Actually. I'll name it. Oh. Rolando Santos from Marikina. He gave it to me. Ay, ako. Okay man. Pangsipa ito sa mga gago na. Nabi ko na tama na yung korupsyon. Okay. Bakit ako? Kasi I said, paski kayo. Ang OFW talagang malakas ang hatak sa akin. Yung iba, bakit nanalo ako? Ganito lang yan. You have to improve the economy. To do justice to the sweat of people outside, rich or poor, that their families here are protected Wala man lang silang ibang hinihingi. They are not asking for anything else from the government. As a matter of fact, they are the ones remitting money to the government. Oh. Oh, uh, GDP natin, eh, pinaka, ano, is, a good part of it is really the earnings outside. Wala man lang hinihingi. Yan lang. That uh, everything is uh, for one day when they return, Oh, which is happening now. Kasi ang labor naghanap na. May nagsabi pa ng isang ano, sana magbalik na yung OFW because most of the artisans are out. Yung mga, yung walang naiwan, yung mga, siguro, tamad siguro. Hindi <laughs> marunong ng plumbing and uh, electricity because all of the experts went abroad to seek the greener pasture. Ngayon, there's a boom, even in the world, looking for uh, workers. Workers skilled. Eh, kung ibigay mo yung traktor mo, sa hindi marunong, di, binangga yung building mo. <laughs> na, see, na, bumagsak na ang bulosa mo, bumagsak lahat. And they have to keep the the economy at least viable. Protect their children, their families, because their mothers and fathers and pamangkin nandito, and they're hoping that they would be the, um, magandang buhay. Then, children, 
their children especially. Pawis nila yan, tapos they, they got to uh, put to in not because of them. Mahirap yan. Hindi lang kasi naintindihan itong mga human rights. Lalo na, I do not mind the locals because it's purely politics. Hindi talaga makatanggap ng talo. Eh. So they started with uh, Uh, di ba ko tanggap na AKJ, ta, AK, 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 inuuna ko yung extra killing eh. Kaya ko na extra judicial. They started with that now. They started my bank accounts. I gave them the waiver. Many years. Before the elections, binigay ko na eh. Ayan na. It's still there. It's extant. There is an expiry date. God damn it, use it. And for you who have friends, ilan bang bangko dito? RCBC, then ask them. It's a computer thing, so tignan mo dako makano ang pera ni Duterte. And I told the military, although it was not really a challenge, but it's more of asking support, no. Ask me kung lang sabihin ko, pati kay Magduda, if you find, you open everything, And if it is more than 40 million, I will step down. That 40 million, the first deposit there of million was when my father died and our hereditary properties were given to us. Hindi naman kami mahirap, pero every, we could not agree among ourselves, so we sold everything. Then divided the money. Hindi naman ako mahirap. Sabi ko, hindi rin ako mayaman na ngayon. Tama-tama lang. But more than that, I belong, I go realize that you cannot bring salaan ko, pagkapatay ka na. I, 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 I like the quotation of uh, this uh, Lebanese author, si um, Omar Kayam, something. Uh, Khalil Gibran, what is it to die except climb to the mountain top? And when you are there, you stand naked against the wind and melt unto the sun. Mm -hmm. High school pa yan, kaya ang auto nakalimutan ko. It's Khalil Gibran. Uh, so, itong slavery, uh, ang kulang dito is more of, uh, you know, I, I'd like to say something. Not because you are here, Your Excellency, the ambassador of China. China has been accepting Filipinos like Korea, and they are really, they, they are really Asians, they, they treat us kindly and uh, they are so exceedingly forgiving sa mga walang pa, and they make an incentive. If you want to extend, uh, do not wait for the expiry, go to us and we will give you and Korea. Those are the two countries na, and Korea because uh, of one, one thing. That during the Korean War, we, we sent uh, a delegation there. Phil Kag, remember? And one of the soldiers that we sent there was Ramos. President Ramos. And that is very sentimental to them. So yung Filipinos there are not really, nobody's asking a Filipino there if you have a, 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 a visa. Well, I suppose you cannot enter the country without visa, but what I mean is that they are not really that, uh, that strict and that, uh, they must stressful. And China is, uh, I said, it's very, Uh, okay lang sa kanila kung they go there and work. So, that's added countries na kita ko na. Thank you.
And mind you, they also gave us the arms that we needed very, very badly. Two shipments of them. And uh, the Marawi thing was uh, a battle of Shabu. Because they were already positioned there inside the buildings. That's why until now, I think it's Mosul. Look at the Middle East. How many years has it been since they fired the first shot? Because building for building, sa Marawi ganun, if it was an, uh, if it was a war one on an open field, tapos yan isang, isang, isang linggo. But they had to, I mean, the, you know, we were short of, uh, we had but short. But when the sniper uh, complete, naro meron ng uh, all that they do was just to zero and it uh, has almost it hastened the war. Uh, with uh, China played a very significant role. Now they say that the CIA wanted to me out of the government. I believe so. But uh, not really, Gillian, but uh, they could have, uh, they would have uh, prepared a, a, another one. But one thing is very sure is they do not like me. And I do not like them also. <laughs> uh, if there is one uh, place that I, uh, I was uh, invited by Trump to go there. And here comes the two senators from the US Congress. They were here saying, Oh, we will protest if he goes there. And I answered, who told you? <laughs> who told you I will go there? <laughs> About the only time that I went to, uh, my, their wife would be listening. <laughs> uh, my, my daughter is, uh, second wife is an American citizen. Um, uh, I don't know what happened, but I visited her. That was it. I do not, I many times have been asked as mayor to go to China, uh, no, almost every week, just to eat, <laughs> go into an eating spree, then go come home. I, 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 not, not, not that for anything, but uh, because of our, I'd like to address myself to the, the United States. It's the Ugali. It's the uh, the way how they handle relation, personal relationships. They're very courteous, almost to the point of fault. And mind you, the Arabs. Okay, I've been visiting the places there. Oh, okay, sila. Uh, I think the only evil. Uh, Think there is still bombing the whole, uh, but mind you, bombing uh, Mogadishu and killing so many people. Uh, this is not something which we should rejoice, the Marawi thing. I'm not happy with it really because uh, for all Filipinos. For you, Uh, the, the foreigners who, who went there to die. I don't give a shit. Itong ano lang, uh, sabi ko, uh, maybe they joined ISIS because uh, ISIS talaga. And uh, on uh, bucket ko naman sabi ko, uh, uh, my mother is in Maranao. I'll tell you, how can it be an, a, a, a work of a religion when you kill children, rape the women, the hostages, rape a 15-year-old just beside their mother every night? Is this the work of uh, a man who believes in Islam? This is the work of uh, How can you figure it out to... Why don't you just bring him somewhere in the dark and shoot him in the head? We do here too. 
That is why I, the our army, their primary weapons is the rifle. They do not have the like the policeman. The primary weapon of the policeman is his sidearm. He does not usually go around with an M16. Ang army naman they go out. But because of uh, the so many incidents, I said, I'll buy you all a sidearm. I, and the, I'm, I'm not trying to be funny. I, with three magazines, uh, one uh, on deck, the other to reserve. And I said, the last magazine on the far end, going at the back, is for you. The other two is for the enemy. Do not give, I'll buy you a good weapon. Do not give it to the enemy alive. But reserve the gun for the last magazine. And do not allow yourself to be captured. The last magazine is really for your head. Or if you want, because with nothing there, you are practically dead. Berlin mo lang yung bayag mo dyan. With such a useless thing, then you are almost dead. But they said, ganun ka magsalita sa sundalo eh. Ang ina ninyo, ito ha. Huwag kayong mag-surrender. Do not allow others to treat you as a pig. To treat you as uh, an animal there, only to die in front of the TV and your head being cut. Select your head or your balls. You lose your balls, you are dead also. Like, practically almost dead. Because no, no longer happiness. No, no. <laughs> No more. Well, that's uh, how I would end it, uh, talking about, you know. <laughs> but uh, itong sa, again, the, itong slavery, it needs a little bit of uh, a closer cooperation, a stricter uh, uh, you know, I said, uh, subject to the rights of the Constitution to to travel, which you cannot. Uh, uh, I hate to say this, but uh, you would know by just profiling. I, I hate profiling. And so I did not allow the yung, no, no, sa Marina, eh, you know, sila. I hate I, I do not want that. But dito sa, for your own protection, your own protections, we have to do this. Lalo na yung mga bata, teenager. You would know. Ang importante dyan is for the, total, wala naman masyadong ano ngayon, you can go for the uh, riding in tandem uh, murderers, uh, carnappers, uh, kidnappers, isali na lang sa priority ang recruitment. Doon sa Dabao, talagang pag may recruitment, you go to the NBI. I always uh, tell the NBI, and I would like to order now, nandito na lang rin tayo, this would be as good as any other time to task uh, the CIS uh, that's the criminal uh, CIDG, criminal investigation uh, of the police and uh, the NBI, to make the rounds to make sure that they are not illegally operated. That's an order. I'm sure that listening. Uh, and if you want to help, uh, go direct to the NBI or the C CIDG of the police. And they are the investigative body. Uh, um, this is the investigative body of the 
police force. You can call them. Uh, I will ask uh, the policeman here. Uh, they're all secure. They're all military men. They're not police. Anong number ng ito si Minang? Anong, num anong number ng CIDJ meron ba? Minang is uh, a from Siasi. She is a Moro. She is a daughter of uh, is a princess sa lugar nila. She's my aide sa police. Ano na lang, uh, you just tell the, call the CIDG to, pati yung NBA to post their uh, sa TV. Sa government, huwag yung madali lang kasi hindi makukuha. God, ako hindi ko nakukuha, hindi ko mahabol. Noon, isang tingin ko lang, ganun lang. Hindi ko yung sa yun, 1, 2, 2, 9, hindi. Ako noon, ganun, ang tingnan ko. Tapos basahin ko na, ito ba? Ngayon, sa katingin ng maraming maganda, no? wala na yung arithmetic. <laughs> Sabi mo, i-post na lang nila doon sa PTV4, permanent yung doon. NBI CIDG. So, para makita ng lahat. Alagyan mo na. Ha? Thank you. Uh, <laughs> si Moka. Hindi ka? Ito, may program ito sa OFW. Ikaw, sige, turo-turo sa dili mo. Uh, ito si Moka. She's also one of the girls dito, local, working hard for the OFW. She's been there. She, she goes there around. I, I took her uh, uh, in as a... Uh, Doha Qatar. Doha Qatar. Uh, she's also a worker for the OFW. And uh, Marisa, you can always count on... And if everything fails, uh, you call me. So the, the, I will give them the ultimate, uh, you know, well, if nobody can stop them, when we will use the uh, leave it to God to forgive. God, I have to shoot this idiot because uh, he's no not young society. We plead, we 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 beg, we pray. Yung mga drugista, pati yung mga illegal, illegal recruiters. Huwag naman yung ganon. Kasi do not do it. Do not, you know, you won't like it uh, doing it to your fellow men. Stop it. Because if you don't stop, Somebody will stop you. Ganon talaga yan eh. You, you give us room for... You put that corner as... Mga corner ang tao. And we get to be desperate. Because there is no other solution. You know, no one, you go there, bail, go there, bail. You go there, you bail almost every day. You use the minor. Ganito yan eh. Bakit may minors? Why? Bakit may matanda pati minors yan? Why? Because ang matanda ang kurir. Galing sa siya yung lieutenant. Tindig lang yan siya. Yung minor niya, wala ko, I'm not attributing it 
to any particular case. Yung minor niya, yun mag-utos, bigay mo yun sa tao sa kanto na yun, katinding. Yun ang katakbo. Pag nahuli ng pulis yan sa kakatakbo, he goes out freely the moment after. You cannot arrest a minor below 15 years old. Pag sinabi niya minor, that moment, that instant, release the minor, or else the police will go to jail. See? Yan ang sinabi ko, do not put us in a desperate situation. Because the law has allowed itself to be broken. Drugs is a deadly menace. Then you start without thinking. Alam mo, may I, kaibigan ko yan, he is honest, siguro everything. But if there is one in the Republic of the Philippine citizens, an official, who did us wrong, terribly wrong, Senator Pangilinan. Because he was the one who crafted the law, copied the Juvenile Offenders Act of New York and uh, the state of Washington. Yan nga ang problema dyan eh. Kaya nagtaka ako kung bakit nanalo pa yan, paik-ik. Galit na ako sa kanya because of the situation. Because he created a generation of criminals. Why? Because when, when that law took effect, you could see yung EDSA, kita mo mag-snatch, they snatch and they run, caught on, caught on camera. That's only for show. They are arrested. They are not arrested by the barangay captain. They are taken into custody. Because he's a minor. 15 years old, pag sinabi niya I'm 15, labas yan. So these guys go in and out of prison every day without even a minute of lecture of the responsibility of a citizen. And the sense of accountability doing it wrong. Yan ang nangyaki. Marami ang criminal ngayon noon mag-ganon pa. Hindi criminal na wala na yun. Yeah, just polygon, uh, diritso. Bakit yan? Nasanay. In America, true. There are even uh, 17 years old, pataas ang ibang state. But there is a mechanism there. Ang chan ang dapat ginawa ni Kiko Pangilinan was uh, a law, a kolatilia or a condition provided that in every town or city, there should be a correctional institution. Not to put them in prison, but to detain them and be le lectured on what is right and what is wrong. And what are the responsibilities of a citizen and what is prohibited. Wala eh. Yan ang sinabi ko. Mag-aaral ka ng mga Harvard ng six weeks dyan, mga seminar. Bumalik ka dito, gumawa ka ng batas. Yan ang totoo. Si Pangilinan yan. Ngayon, bakit hindi nila i-amen? Iba ang ibang senator ayaw. Bakit? Ito, gagong to. Ginawa na yan. Hindi, lumubog siya dyan. Kasi pag hindi, bakalaban pa natin niya sa eleksyon. Tatakbo rin dyan ng... Baka takbo yun ng presidente, talo pa tayo. Ngayon po, walang ik. Kaya, let it float. Let the, let the law remain there. Ganon yan. Sa pangilinan. Dapat yun noon, pag mayroon yan, 15 years old, good. But there is be a correctional facility or a halfway house to do 
for it. But he did not. It's a, it's a display of uh, how would they term it? A display of uh, brilliance gone wild. Yan ang mahirap dyan sa... Siya yan. Ngayon, matagal ko nang gusto kong birahin yan. Si Pangilinan. Ba, nandyan ba siya? Si... Suntokin na lang. Ang kita para tuloy. So, in and out, in and out, they grow up without any sense of responsibility or the more ano, is accountability. Yan ang nawala. So, that's how it is. Now, if I kept on talking, you might as well order the breakfast. <laughs> Thank you and good night. If it would outlast me, kung wadang wala ako bigla, ang higayin ko lang sa inyo, lahat kayo, pati mga journalists, see to it that this country will not take a spin. Pinapasadyos ko na yung sitwasyon namin sa pinpik. Gusto ko nila ma-reform yung pinpik. Gusto eh, paano ba ito yung organization namin?
ako sabi ko, ito lang ang mapangako ko at gagawin ko talaga. I will stop corruption in government. Pinas mong mahal Nagsilbi ka ng tapat Pusilap ang iyong kalooban Uliratang ang ama Hindi mapapantayan Oh, ikaw, ikaw na ang aming Pangulo Pinagpis ng bayan ko Magpakailan man Andito lang kami para sa'yo Susulong at lalaban kasama mo Magkaisa tayo laban natin to Mayaman ma I love you all. Hangat mong makamit Pangakong pagbabago Kahit ang iyong buhay Ay inalay mo Kapit bisig ubayan ko Mabuhay ang Pilipino Dahil ikaw ang aming Pangulo Comfortable ako sa yung sa yung lamang magtitiwala. O tinulungan mo kami at di ka na wala magpakailan man andi tulong kami para sa yung susulong at lalang. Laban kasama mo Magkaisa tayo Laban natin to Mayaman matukha Sama-sama tayo Muslim man o kasyano Ang katawag organizations of the anti-trafficking OFW movement mga kasama ko sa gobyerno, mga kababayan ko uh, ay 
tatlong pages lang man to. <laughs> so, uh, I'd be through in about two minutes and say goodbye. Are you through with your dinner? Uh, wala, uwi na tayo pagkatapos na ito. <laughs> uh, matagal ako sa, I've been with government for the, uh, the best years of my life. Started as a prosecutor, then as a vice mayor, mayor for 23 years. I'm just telling, I'm laying the predicate of my talk. And the congressman and being vice mayor and mayor again. Uh, it would reach about 40 years. Uh, uh, I, I don't know how long I would be president. Uh, the imponderables of life would uh, uh, caution you to mag isang salita. Do not uh, define life in one sentence. But I have some thoughts and experiences to share with you. Nung presidente ako, anong mayor ako, matagal ng panahon. There was a time when I was uh, forced to give the order to shoot to kill pati yung mga illegal recruiters. And this happened because uh, three Dabawenias, uh, dalawa sa Turil and one from Lasang, those are the districts in my city, uh, whose parents came to me early morning crying because they could no longer uh, get in touch with their uh, daughters and all communications uh, well no more uh, were cut and uh, they were crying in front of my wife and me and after uh, breakfast my wife told me, do not ask which wife. I, uh, I have to. So, to be fair, I said, do not ask. Uh, I, uh, I said, my wife said, why don't you do something about it? Uh, uh, I said, do something about it. Uh, I, I, I pity the, the parents. And I said, yes, I've been uh, declaring war against drugs and against illegal recruiters. You know, if you try to bring the worst in me as a human being, try these crimes and you would really see the worst person in this planet. And I like it, being the worst uh, person, because I just uh, stated succinctly uh, by Marisa, the pure oppression. I cannot imagine human beings for that matter, and we're talking about our countrymen now, being sold to the slave markets elsewhere, and uh, they are tied to the bondage of slavery for all of their lives no longer uh, connected with their families, totally lost. And they are there as slaves to work for... Umiinit yung ulo ko, sandali, ha? Kamo tayo ng dumi dito kung meron. So kasi magmura. Kababayan mo tapos isipin mo na hanggang kamatayan at gagamitin pa. Not only are the slaves in the truest sense of the word, but also they are sexual slaves. And it bugs your mind just thinking about it. Really, there was a time. I, mean, I was not joking. Sabi ko talagang patayin mo yung uh, so I decided to go to Saudi Arabia and fortunately we were given uh, time to have an audience with uh, King Fahd. At that time he was sick but he was still uh, able to communicate to his uh, 
AIDS and uh, he said yes yung tatlo na nakulong doon eh alam mo there are laws to be followed and uh, also caution everybody since everybody is listening uh, mukhang live ito all throughout the Philippines na uh, those things that are not really allowed in other countries uh, do not do it because you have to follow the rules for example drugs uh, uh, we are duty bound to protect you but I must tell you that every time uh, yung, yeah, somebody Filipino is uh, caught abroad I refuse to give the statement I just say we will help and uh, let Pebot uh, Bellio the Secretary of Labor so we go, you, you answer I, I, I. basta yung drugs pati yung, yung uh, illegal recruitment kasi ipagbili mo yung tao yung drugs naman sisirain yung tao yan o your sacrifice in life work is connected now also with the problem of drugs if you just listen to me I'm sure you'll understand but anyway balik muna tayo doon sa king he said yes but the guy there the minister who accompanied us told me to see my counterpart and I said I am not uh, in the exec executive department right now I am with the uh, legislative uh, body so I was talking to a member of the law and order uh, assemblyman <coughs> and uh, I said, you know, in this country, sometimes uh, there's not much difference, especially in the rural areas. Not in Riyadh, but in our faraway places. Sometimes they lose the distinction between what is a regularly paid helper and a slave. And not all, but uh, sometimes it can happen. Mabutit na lang ito, good that this is just a simple case of uh, passing on some rosaries to other Filipinas. Ibawal yun. So ngayon sabihin ko sa mga kababayan natin, sumunod kayo. Because pag nasabit kayo ng mga ganun, hindi talaga ako makatulong. If at all, it would take time. Uh, Yung mga drug cases, even in Indonesia right now, you have not heard me talk about it. And because I hate drugs. True or not, I, I, I simply would find it uh, almost incongruous on, to me to be talking about these things because I, I really do not. I'm, I am the unforgiving especially against drugs and slavery. So, <clears throat> I was able to bring them back home. And uh, I announced uh, the community that uh, we were successful in negotiating. Uh, we have to, uh, our gratitude to King Fad at the time, although he was sick, he gave us the time to be uh, to hear us out. Um, the way, the only way, the most direct way of helping you is to improve the Philippines. You are out of the country because you want a more gainful employment not an excessive one but mas mataas a higher rate and perhaps the quality of service that is the reason why you go out because there's not enough to earn here at this time when everything is going up if you stay here as example i just came from the police 
I just doubled the salary for next year, starting January 1. Kasi itong, you know, you have always been, uh, well, almost critical about policemen into drugs. But at the rate their salaries uh, that's been uh, being paid now, and they retire at the age of 56, it's about the time that their children are in college. Hindi pa nakakatapos eh. Some of them are in high school. But mandatory kasi. It's a mandatory at the age of 56. All military men and policemen retire. And you know how how things are. And uh, some of them have to engage into different nefarious activities to augment sometimes. If it is only on that objective and that uh, on that level, okay lang sana. But itong mga iba, they do it at the expense of their fellow human being. I was the first, and some of you here are from the vow. I started my drug rehab almost 25 years ago. And the slide rate is almost 2 to 8. Most of them really go back to addiction of Cebu. Kaya nakita ko na at that early, and that is why I learned this uh, thing that uh, at that time some were very critical to me about extrajudicial killing. No, it's not uh, that, but uh, if have you wondered why before I came into office that there was, there was practically nil to nothing and sometimes the Shabu is displayed there by any component of the security forces. Ang karamihan, kasi most of them, if they catch about 10 kilos, they will just surrender about 2. The 8 is recycled. Or the mayors or the police are into it. Now, I'd like to tell you that 40% of the total barangay units in this country are contaminated with drugs. And there are about 9,000 plus law enforcers, policemen, kasali dyan. That is why we suspended the elections. The members of Congress went to me, senators and congressmen, and asked me bluntly, what do you recommend? No, I said, no, I will not. That, that's your decision. Uh, I do not have any power at all to call off the elections except you. I will just bear, bear uh, ir, you know, tell it all, bear all. The things that I know as president. So we decided, they decided, so the government decided to suspend the election about two years to go, summer. But if you ask me, uh, uh, would that be, the, would, it, would there be enough time for that? Well, because of the criticism and even the homegrown, so always been insisting that the police are into killings extrajudicially. And so go, then let us give it to the Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency, which under the law would be the lead agency. And someone insisting that there is no drug problem, fine, I agree with you. So the 2,000 members would be enough for the entire Philippines. You have been downgrading the drugs and problem. Oh, okay. I ordered the military and the police out of the picture. Lahat. Only pedia. Now, the question you will ask is, 
would this be number was would this uh, agency a single one sufficient to meet the challenges of the drug problem would there be enough resources of this agency to deal with the problem effectively i don't know i don't know because i myself has distance now someday if we go back to now i'd like to remind you when i became president hundreds of thousands of filipinos surrendered every day at the end of the year let's see it was about a million and three one million three hundred drug addicts that was during my term but during the term of president arroyo and aquino general santiago of the pedia would retire but he's not the chairman of the board so the board of uh, so drugs I reappointed him because of his experience his count was already three million yung kay bato the pnp now counted one three so maybe former drug addicts in, uh, were included in that list you'd never know i said uh, so is the uh, getting the correct uh, and accurate figures. So on the average, let us just say that uh, some of them already surrendered or well known, others will add it. But I would say it's an incremental increase because of the abundance of the supply. Coming from cooking overseas, not only any, even China, America, Europe is having a problem. So I'll just put it mildly about 2 million. 2 million drug addicts. We built uh, one Chinese uh, good soul, built us a 5,000 facility. Diyan sa Fort Lahore, sa Magsaysay. Uh, it's a, an army camp, and I ordered the army camp because uh, we needed spaces. I ordered the armed forces to open their gates and allow the construction of uh, rehab. I said this uh, uh, philanthropist from China, good for 5,000. We're just about now, I don't know, uh, about it will be a miracle if they, 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 they would hit the figure of one. Because they have all, they, it's not a prison camp. We don't shoot uh, persons escaping from the facility. If they run, then run and find yourself a place under the sun. And so this is really the problem. It's a recurring and it's a very abominable thing, but it is happening in the reality. So would I be able to solve the problem because of my promise? Remember that I won the elections. I got the highest numbers from the OFW. Maraming salamat sa inyo. I won even in the United States where they were more, most critical about my record as uh, mayor. But look at the vow now. I challenge you. Well, you must have had the chance to go there once upon a time. Go to Davao. It's my template. Yun sana ang gusto. That's what uh, I would have wanted Davao to be, to, the, the country to be like Davao. But, uh, mahirapan ako kasi here comes the EU, 
members pretending to reflect the sentiments of the EU, America was the first one. But uh, why they are not doing it now? Uh, I, I would not be in a position to reveal it to you. But I just showed them something. You read. There are about almost 40 mayors. Two of them killed already. Parahino pati si Albuera. Albuera was the mayor of uh, Albuera, uh, Espinosa was rather the mayor of Albuera and he was uh, the producer of this order. And he, he even killed some of his policemen who did not obey his orders to follow him. Just like Parahino. I'm sure some of you are from the Western Visayas, uh, Mindanao. Was there truly a country of uh, freedom there? The citizens, while they were in power, while they was alive, could not even talk about what's happening there. You can buy Shabu in the Sari Sari stores, and nobody was complaining. The economy of uh, uh, Usamis. Walang pact. But people were quite comfortable. It was a little bit higher than the other cities. Why? Because everybody was a merchant of drugs. And the supply was unlimited because it was the mayor. And he killed six policemen. Until now, we only found two when the, when the investigators, when following day when they started to dig the farms of the idiot, they found, among others, the two bones of uh, still in uniform, Tung Mga Police. That's why I had to decide that he must go. The Albuera mayor also killed two of his policemen. There was no decent election there. And as a matter of fact, a mayor of Albuera went to Davao City to another mayor just to ask for my protection because he could not get it from the police and from the other lead agencies. He did not trust the NBI, they didn't trust the police. Pag ganito ang gawin mo sa What do you think? And Hundreds of thousands of young people were going crazy And even old ones Pumunta ka doon sa You know the first time of Shabu Gumagano no Parang yung dreaming din kung gano'n ang ngipin. That's why ang mga shabu mga ano, walang ngipin. Oh, ano, ubos na. Yung corroded. Kinaka, if say, if a guy like that. And one of the striking things that I have uh, noticed recently was the father of one of the victims na sinabi na pinatay ng polis. Uh, pinatay talaga ng polis. That he was killed by a policeman. Maybe he was really executed. I believe that stuff because uh, there was no other evidence. Meron ako nakita, uh, of you don't say. So I was talking to the father. So I know tama yung polis. And this will go out during the trial. So he goes, just keep quiet. Just, uh, well, if you cannot, uh, I said, uh, the unlawful killing definitely was uh, not right because it was an execution. But I do not stop policemen from killing criminals who pose a threat to their lives immediately. Go for the end. 
Why go for the stomach and can still shoot you? He can still capable of squeezing the trigger twice. And you done up dead just like him. You know, when I was mayor, and I was building the city from ruins, after the NPAs came the criminals. You know why? Because during martial law, everybody who identified himself as anti-communist was given a firearm by the government itself. When peace time came, these unauthorized firearms in the hands went to the criminals and everybody was a criminal because a gun changes the psychological setup of a person. Feel superior and he thinks that he is uh, already, and there was, uh, I was a mayor then, I said, uh, I was not joking and I was not, uh, I'm not I'm, I'm pulling my own chair. But at three months, talagang, ay, dito, the chairman, and, and even General Galvante, he was there assigned uh, as an RD, no? And he had a very serious crime. And I, 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 I just made a, a simple... Uh, Jan Garbante was the regional commander of the police at one time. I'm sure he was there. I just announced, I said, look, I am not a policeman. I am not an NBI agent. I'm a mayor and trying to build a city. Do not destroy the city because I will kill you. Do not destroy the young of my land because I will kill you. This is a very repetitive uh, speech. But every time I have an audience, now especially you, because this has a connection directly with you. I'll prove it to you in a few moments. And so I said, if you are there to destroy my city, I will order the police to arrest you, to place you under the custody of the law. And if there is a violent resistance, Kill him. But that is the law. That is what is provided for in the revised penal code. When you are confronted with a criminal, and that is why maraming kaso. Kaya marami, there were plenty of cases, and policemen were shying away from enforcing the law because of the cases. It has been the practice in the Philippines, and you can ask any lawyer for that matter, that the best way of defense is also to file a case against the police. True or not, because that will discourage him, and eventually will just uh, refuse to appear in court. So the case, my case, would, Your Honor, I am not ready because uh, I have no witness. Then for the second time, said you, uh, oh, fiscal, executor, ready? Not again, Your Honor. As, uh, I have no witness. As uh, the summons would show, uh, he cannot be found. And during martial days, everybody was assigned somewhere in Mindanao. And they had to wait for a convoy that would be going towards the eastern front of Mindanao. Each arrived to arrive there safely. Ganun yun. So, nagbagkasan yung kaso ko. Because, sir, wala kaming masa... We cannot find a ride. Uh, and we cannot travel in buses because if the NPAs will start it and start searching people and asking questions, were dead ducks. And I can understand and say that he was not there because he was still assigned in Surigao. That, that's the problem. The forensics, uh, there were just one, two of them for the entire Eastern Mindanao. So what's the, how can I do my work? Ganon ang nangyari. And so I, when I became president, I said, if you destroy my country, I'll kill you. And if you stick, 
Pakain mo yung mga anak na nanonood. Talagang papatayin kita. There's no secret about it. Find me even a order that is contrary to law. Okay. <coughs> Find me a wrong devil I say. If you destroy my country, I will kill you. Or I say, if you destroy the young of my land, I will kill you. And I will kill you. But it does not, it's not a carta blanca, kill him upon sight. You have to arrest him. But if he surrenders, you place him under the custody. You bring him to the judge uh, issuing the warrant or to the police station to, for record purposes and maybe to answer for charges. But the law says that if you resist violently, the policeman has to take you into custody. Now, if you are holding a gun or a knife, how can this policeman now bring you into custody and bring you to the judge or to the, court, to the police station? You have to overcome the resistance first before you can bring him. I said, drop your weapon because I'll be forced to shoot you. Kaya ako noon, when I was mayor, I... Maybe it's also broadcast in Dabao. But he was a friend. And he committed something. I did not... So I went to his house inside. I said, no, you did something that happened. And uh, the, 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 the wife was shouting. And I said, either I bring you out dead or I bring you out alive. Make your choice. And he was my friend. He was drunk. And uh, so if you resist because you have been gone, I'll shoot you in front of your family. Make your choice. Because you have to overcome. How are you, place, so, or how are you supposed to bring him into the custody of the law when he will fight again? That's the problem with my nerves also. Because my nerves tend to wrestle with the police and try to pull out something. So the police has to use physical force. And pag nabukul yan, the day after, go to the hospital, and show their wounds there, just like also drunk people. I say, I cannot care if they are the police, no, no, no. So the police have to drug you. Then the following day, you file a case against you for... That is why, in my time, we had peace. And I hope that my daughter, who is now the mayor, will continue with it. It's peaceful in Davao. You can walk anywhere you want. Nobody would molest you. Because at that time, if you do it, you're dead. And I said, do not destroy my city. I am building a nation. Do not force me to be a policeman. Well, a policeman, I should know the law. And I can deal with you better. And I am not afraid of the case. Because I'm a, a learned man of, of law and a prosecutor. I should know. Well, ang polis kasi, pag napailan ng kaso, if there is a case filed against them, that day he loses his salary. There's no more food on the table. The children can no longer go to school. They have no money to for the ride and for the baon the, during recess time. Okay, as I've been why? Why during the time of the 30th? Because I told him to enforce the law. They were the ones to receive the first bullshit. Either you do it or 
Erwin. So they enforce the law. And uh, majority of them, because bangage, shebo shrinks the brain. Rich people, well, we have it. Kaya, kayo bang mga mahirap? Bigyan na, bakit kaming mahirap ang namatay? Anak ka ng, ang market ng Shabu po ay kayo ang mahirap? The market of Shabu are the poor people. The rich people, I said, do not care what they, they, they use puppy. They, they, they go to the beach islands there and, and by the way, cocaine is it's a bit mild. Shabu is a mixture of chemicals that shrinks the brain of, of the person over time. That is why rehabilitation is useless. When the brain has run, it stays run. You cannot go to the gasoline station and pump air in the, through the air so that it will That's the problem, I said. Why are only, I said this, the favorite line itong mga foreigners, I am not referring to any one of you here, is always, uh, you know, they are killing people there. And what is really worse is that they only count the victims who are killed, not even sure of whether it is true or not because nowadays when you lie flat on the pavement on the cement they would just assume that you are a victim of extrajudicial killing that is what makes my mouth very bad i really do it on purpose binabastos ko sila you know why when you do that it is always a derogation of the sovereignty of my country. Any insult to Marco, why? I said you only add, I repeat, you only add the people who are dead and claim to be drug addicts. You forgot the equation that for so many years there were thousands and millions of Filipinos already crazy of no use to us to the philippine society there's no more hope and we have to spend more money to cure them to no avail because it's useless when the brain is shut down it stays there it is shut down kaya ako galit you know, when you look at the social problem, the EU, I think you, I, I, I was, you are the educated uh, race of this planet. You pretend to be, have the progressive laws and everything. When you look at the problem, look at the social aspect of the problem. How many died? Big, you know, when you are, when you, are lawyer, you see a person that dead or dying, and you want to dec uh, have the de dying declaration, you do not ask what is your name. You ask first, who shot you? Who stabbed you? Never mind about what, the uh, what, what weapon. Eh, makita mo naman butas, bala, o sak sak. O, oh, ganun, sana. Extrajudicial killing, how many? 10,000, it name? Okay. So, this next question. Why were they killed? Yan ang problema ngayon. They say, ilumaban to because they fought it out, so they are the dead. You just do not say, the reporter to pretend to represent the EU and say, oh, these are the victims, even if they are really criminals. Like for example, Parahino. He died there right during the police raid. Oh, you, you went to his rest house. You saw on TV. His house was... Uh, he used the money of the Republic of the Philippines as a wallpaper. 
500. Just like that. You saw the MTV. It was your own TV. Claims to be poor, but he has a palace. Me? I said, well, they're asking me because I have a hidden wealth. I said, I have I had my wealth. That, that if I have the wealth, I have the wealth. So, they use it as a paper wall for their house. 500 pesos. It's almost really obscene. It's almost pornographic thing. Now you know. So let me make now the connection. Ang problema dito, in fairness also to the guy who wrote this, <laughs> let me just read the last paragraph. As Con Consuelo. I do not write my speeches. I do not deliver speech. I, I just talk. I, I, I do not give speeches, really. They, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I am Rodrigo Duterte, and uh, by the way, I'm the president of the Republic of the Philippines. And this is what we have in store for you in the coming days. I just want to talk to you. I just want to make a report, or if you may, let's just discuss it. And the other, so, but you know, uh, is uh, maybe is the not you, so uh, yeah, I'll just read the last la last paragraph. Again, I thank the private sector, especially the Buai OFW for working closely with the government in this endeavor. Human trafficking is a serious problem that transcends borders. Therefore, we all have a responsibility in making sure that this battle is won. Together, we will work to improve the lives of our overseas Filipino workers. Again, congratulations and mabuhay. <laughs> Having said that, Having uh, rendered the justice it deserves uh, is my employee. I don't know who, who but uh, he's from uh, my office. Huh? So let me now make the connections. And overseas. It's really the poor. The defenseless. Yung, walang mapuntahan. Ang market sa drug. Unahin natin. Then we go to slavery. Drugs. I said the market is the poor community. It only sells 200. Per uh, sachet. So, the 3 million. Uh, 200 but we six million in one month. Times three million na lang. Huwag na yung akin na one thing. What? So it's something in one year. Times 12, 365. That's most. I'm not good at math. What? 216 billion industry a year. And it's the poor people who are subsidizing it. And they're the ones who say, I mean, not all, but uh, I just would like to inform you. Kayo yun. Kayo yung nabubuhay ng sabo. Yung mga mayaman, yung mga elitista. May mga yate yan, may mga aeroplano, yung mga... Uh, Hardly, if we can. But I would, I would be honored to, to do it to them. On this other side, well, anyway, and poor people. 
you know, when a family, when one member of the family is into drugs, this family becomes dysfunctional, right? This is a serious problem in the family. When the father goes out to work abroad, a family without the father is a dysfunctional. A family without the mother is a dysfunctional. When both father and mother go out to work, the family is left to the care of the sister or brother or to the aunts, then my God, remember the Philippines. We have a, a large number of dysfunctional families. And who are these people who would have the money to pay for the 200 and would have the money always? It's not a big sum. Who are the targets? The sons and daughters of the poor family. Lalo na yung alam nila na may nagtatrabaho sa labas and that is as your income and every month money is sent from the whatever country by the father or mother to support his schooling and his baon and everything and that is why they are working to death there breaking their backs to earn money so that the families here can live and be educated. And you drug people coming in into the picture and destroying the family. My God, I will kill you. Both. Why? Because I love the Filipino. Why? Why? Because I am tough. And so that the foreigners can, I said, come and observe. So you got a feeling of the misery and agony of the people of the Republic of the Philippines. 97% are really poor. It's just about 3% who are holding really, really the money. Now, we're just receiving salaries. Most of us, well, not really millionaires. Members of the SSFGIS, the mga empleado. We earn so much. We earn this little. We set aside a certain amount of our salary, which is at source taken already, GSIS, SSS contribution. How much is the retirement? Okay. In government, me, maybe a little less, but all in all, when I retire, 40,000. Judges, much higher, almost 70. The, the, the salary of the mayor is just, when I assume, about 47,000. That is why he was hesitant to, to be sworn into office. You give me 47,000, I have two families to support. So, where do I get the money to? Mabutit na lang ngayon. Well, you know, in life, you can never say that you stay happily married with this. You want to. But, you know, sometimes it's destiny. I don't know. You are, you ask the, the, the next guy with me, he suffers in the, with that problem also.
So ngayon, ilan ng ating silver? We retire at what age? Sixty? Sixty-five? Most of the policemen on the average get about 32,000. And if you get to live for another 15 years, you think that 42,000 lamsang yan can support your problems of subsistence, health. At 50, Filipinos get diabetes. Or rice, uh, rice eaters. It's the highest uh, Asia because of the rice. It's carbo. Hypertension. Kidney problems. At 60, it gets to be worse. The, the bills of uh, the medications keep piling up. So when it is already exhausted, to whom do I call for help? My children. But because you have destroyed them, even if it's only one family in the world, because if you have already castrated the family, maybe if you live for another 20 years, you won't even be able to pay your coffin or your boot real. That is why I am angry. Kaya ako galit. And people from Davao tell me, Bebor is here. The LFTRB chairman is there, Eileen. John, John Canvante is not there. He was just assigned there as a soldier. Look around you. You ride a chopper. I used to do that uh, when I was um, during the campaign and until now. You see this subdivisions, Magaganda, uh, meters apart. Then we fed the fence there is there. See, probably. Going up uh, north, see the humanity. Kita mo yung mga bahay na all squatters, all poor, all susceptible or really easy target for drug. And the drug people, they have this uh, children's uh, schooling in Australia and the United States, you have houses there, big mansions, they enjoy life and we suffer. So what do I, what do, I do with you? You're a mayor, you let me and I said, by the way, the Turkey talks, it would appear according to the human rights analysts. You know Duterte, the way he talks? It is as if he was really the one who gave the order. Tarantado ka pala, sino mo pala? Must be an openly stupid guy. Worse! I said, go out and destroy. Drug is an organized crime. You have to start with the tentacles. Then the organs and the body itself, because it is an organized crime. Mahirap ka, your board. Well, I'm sorry. When I took my oath of office, I said I will enforce the law equally against all. It doesn't say against all, but never mind, with the exception of the poor. Does that say anything about it? Me? At this uh, point, you know, why? Because you are rich? Well, you are wrong. Because you are poor? Still wrong. I'm just a lover. Period.
Itong slaves ngayon ang problema. That is why we have to be, be vigilant. Not only sa airports, but we're quite successful sa Davao. I don't know how can we, we can improve the mechanisms. But, uh, you know, uh, this is a democracy. The right to travel is a constitutional right. This is the more pigillion. You can you can get sued for that. Uh, you, you. But again, uh, dito in my time, it was immigration. At least yung mga OFW wala nang kuskus ngayon. And uh, when you, I'm sure that when you came in, no more inspection of the bags and you know getting things there. That uh, I've disallowed that already. I mean, you're uncomfortable. No one is immigration. Matagal ang proseso kay marami pang kinukutso-kutso ka just to left and right. I think in, in my time, is, uh, there is none. Kasi pag may mag-report po tayo, nasisipain talaga kita. That's why I, I, I fired a high government official today. I will not mention his name because I do not want to shame the family. Kasi ang anak niya, baka doktor na, kaya nang iba. But guna na talaga ang paa ko. So sabi ko, maganda yung sapatos mo. Mine, you can take a look at it. Really, I'm going to... It's Marikina. Toto. Wala, hindi ko na nga. Buhariin ko ba rin ko yan ngayon. Yung kay... Wabag mo tinatago! Mag-atras ka agad yung pa para hindi magkita yun. By the design, I think that is... Hindi, ano ito? Pagawa ng pabango. Hindi, mahina yan. May, may binigay sa akin. Ako, marami ako. Ha? Totoo. Hindi ako nangubala. Tanggalin ko. It's Rolando Santos. Actually, I'll name it. Oh. Rolando Santos from Marikina. He gave it to me. Bukki man. Pagsipa ito sa mga gago na ito. Nabi ko na tama na yung korupsyon. Bakit ako? Kasi I said, paski kayo. Example, ang OFW talaga malakas ang hatak sa akin. Yung iba, bakit nanalo ako? Ganito lang yan. You have to improve the economy. To do justice to the sweat of people outside, rich or poor, that their families here are protected. Wala man lang silang ibang hinihingi. They're not asking for anything else from the government. As a matter of fact, they are the ones remitting money to the government. Now, GDP natin, pinaka, ano, a good part of it is really the earnings outside. Wala yun lang hiningi. Yan lang. That everything is for one day when they return, which is happening now. Kasi ang labor naghanap na. May nagsabi pa ng isang ano, sana magbalik na yung OFW because most of the artisans are out. Yung mga, walang naiwan yung mga, tamad siguro. Hindi marunong na. Plumbing and electricity, because all of the experts went abroad to seek the greener pasture. Ngayon, there's a boom even in the world looking for workers, workers skilled. Eh, kung ibigay mo yung traktor mo, sa hindi marunong di binangga yung building mo. Nasir na bumagsak na ang bulusa mo, bumagsak lahat. I have to keep the, the economy at least viable. 
protect their children, their families, because their mothers and fathers and pamangkin nandito, and they're hoping that they would be magandang buhay. Then children, their children especially, pawis nila yan, tapos they got, they put to in not because of, mahirap yan. Hindi lang kasi naintindihan ito my human rights. Lalo na, I do not mind the locals because it's purely politics. Hindi talaga makatanggap ng talo eh. So they started with, hindi makatanggap na AKJ, AK, inuuna nga yung extra killing eh. Hindi ka na extra judicial. They started with that now, they started my bank accounts. I gave them the waiver. Many years before the elections, binigay ko na eh. Ayan ako. It's still there. It's extant. There is an expiry date. God damn it, use it. And for you who have friends, ilan bang bangko dito? RCBC, then ask them. It's a computer thing. So, tignan mo na kung magkano ang pera ni Duterte. And I told the military, although it was not really a challenge, but there's more of asking support, no. Ask ko lang sabihin ko, pati kay Magduda, if you find, you open everything, and if it is more than 40 million, I will step down. That 40 million, the first deposit there of million was when my father died and our hereditary Properties were given to us. Hindi naman kami mahirap, pero we could not agree among ourselves, so we sold everything. Then divided the money. Hindi naman ako mahirap. Sabi ko, hindi rin ako mayaman na ngayon. Tama-tama lang. But more than that, I belong, I go realize that you're gonna bring salang, pagkapatay ka na. I, 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 I like the quotation of, uh, of this uh, Lebanese author. Si Omar Kayam, something. Khalil Gibran. What is it to die except climb to the mountain top? And when you are there, you stand naked against the wind and melt onto the sun. High school pa yan, kaya ang auto nakalimutan ko. It's Khalil Gibran. So, itong slavery, ang kulang dito is more of, you know, I'd like to say something. Not because you are here, Your Excellency, the ambassador of China. China has been accepting Filipinos, like Korea. And they are really, they are really Asians. They, they treat us kindly and uh, they are so exceedingly forgiving sa mga walang pa, extra, and that uh, they, they make an incentive. If you want to extend, uh, do not wait for the experience. Go to us and we will give you. And Korea. Those are the two countries. Na, and Korea because uh, of one, one thing. But during the Korean War, we, we sent uh, a delegation there. Will Kag remember? And one of the soldiers that we sent there was Ramos, President Ramos. And that is very sentimental to them. So young Filipinos there are not really, nobody's asking a Filipino there if you have a, 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 a visa. Well, I suppose you cannot enter the country without a visa, but what I mean is that they are not really that, that strict and that, uh, Hindi masyado stressful. And China is, uh, is a, it's very, 
uh, okay lang sa kanila kung they go their own way. So, that's added countries na kita ko na. It's ambassador. Thank you. And mind you, they also gave us the arms that we needed very, very badly. Two shipments. Of, uh, and uh, the Marawi thing was uh, a battle of Shabu. Because they were already positioned there inside the buildings. That's why until now, I think it's Mosul. Look at the Middle East. How many years has it been since they fired the first shot? Because building for building, sa Marawi ganun, if it was an, uh, if it was a war one on an open field, tapos yan isang, isang, isang linggo. What they had to? I mean, the, you know, we were short of, uh, we had but short. But when the sniper uh, complete, naro meru ng uh, all that they do was just to zero and it uh, haste, almost it hastened the war. Uh, with uh, China played a very significant role. Now they say that the CIA wanted to me out of the government. I believe so. But uh, not really, you know, but uh, they could have, uh, they would have uh, prepared a, a, another one. But one thing is very sure is they do not like me. And I do not like them also. <laughs> uh, if there is one uh, place that I, uh, I was uh, invited by Trump to go there. And here comes the two senators from the US Congress. They were here saying, Oh, we will protest if he goes there. And I answered, who told you? <laughs> who told you I will go there? <laughs> About the only time that I went to, uh, my, the other wife would be listening. Uh, my, my daughter is, uh, second wife is an American citizen. Uh, I don't know what happened, but I visited there. That was it. I do not, I many times have been asked as mayor to go to China, uh, no, almost every week, just to eat, <laughs> go into an eating spree, then go come home. Uh, I, 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 not, not, not that for anything, but uh, because of our, I'd like to address myself to the, the United States. It's the ugali. It's the uh, the way how they handle relation, personal relationships. They're very courteous, almost to the point of fault. And mind you, the Arabs. Okay, I've been visiting the places there. Oh, okay, sila. Uh, I think the only evil. Uh, I think there is uh, still bombing the whole, uh, but mind you, bombing uh, Mogadishu and killing so many people. Uh, this is not something which we should uh, rejoice, the Marawi thing. Yeah, I'm not happy with it really because uh, uh, for all Filipinos. Uh, the, the foreigners who, who went there to die. I don't give a shit. Itong ano lang, uh, sabi ko, uh, maybe they joined ISIS because uh, ISIS talaga. And uh, on, uh, bakit ko naman sabi ko, uh, uh, I, my mother is in Maranao. I'll tell you, how can it be an, a, a, a work of a religion when you kill children, rape the women, the hostages, rape a 15-year-old just beside their mother every night? Is this the work of a man who believes in Islam? 
Be more inside. This is the work of it. How can you figure it out to cut a... Why don't you just bring him somewhere in the dark and shoot him in the head? We do here too. That is why I, the our army, their primary weapons is the rifle. They do not have the, like the policeman. The primary weapon of the policeman is his sidearm. He does not usually go around with an M16. Ang army naman, they go out. Uh, but because of uh, the so many incidents, I said, I'll buy you all a sidearm. I, and the, I'm, I'm not trying to be funny. I, with three magazines, uh, one uh, on deck, the other to reserve. And I said, the last magazine on the far end, going at the back, is for you. The other two is for the enemy. Do not give, I'll buy you a good weapon. Do not give it to the enemy alive. But reserve the gun for the last magazine. And do not allow yourself to be captured. The last magazine is really for your head. Or if you want, because with nothing there, you are practically dead. Berlin mo na lang yung bayag mo dyan. With such a useless thing, then you are almost dead. But they said, ganun ka magsalita sa sundalo eh. Ang ina ninyo, ito ha. Huwag kayong mag-surrender. Do not allow others to treat you as a pig to treat you as a, an animal there, only to die in front of the TV and your head being cut. Select your head or your balls. You lose your balls, you are dead also. Like, practically almost dead. Because no, no longer happiness. No, no. <laughs> No more. Well, that's uh, how I would end it, uh, talking about, you know. <laughs> but uh, itong's, uh, again, the itong slavery, it needs a little bit of uh, a closer cooperation, a stricter, uh, uh, you know, I said, uh, subject to the rights of the Constitution to to travel, which you cannot. Uh, uh, I hate to say this, but uh, you would know by just profiling. I, I hate profiling. And so I did not allow the um, Mona sa Marina, you know, sila. I hate, I, I do not want that. But Dito said, for your own protection, your own protections, we have to do this. Lalo na yung mga bata, teenager. You would know. Ang importante dyan is for the, total wala naman masyadong ano ngayon, you can go for the uh, riding in tandem uh, murderers, uh, carnappers, kidnappers. Isali na lang sa priority ang recruitment. Doon sa Dabao, talagang pag may recruitment, you go to the NBI. I always uh, tell the NBI, and I would like to order now, nandito na lang rin tayo, this would be as good as any other time to task uh, the CIS, uh, the criminal uh, uh, CIDG, criminal investigation uh, of the police and uh, the NBI to make the rounds to make sure that they are not illegally operated. That's an order. I'm sure that listening. And if you want help, 
go direct to the NBI or the CIDG of the police. And they are the investigative body. Um, this is the investigative body of the police force. You can call them. Uh, I will ask the uh, policeman here. Uh, they are all secure. They are all military men. They are not police. Anong number ng ito si Minang? Anong, num anong number ng CIDJ? Meron ka? Minang is uh, a from Siasi. She is a moro. She is a daughter of uh, uh, a princess sa lugar nila. She is my aide sa police. Ano na lang, uh, you just tell the, call the CIDG to, pati yung NBA to post their uh, sa TV. Sa government, huwag yung madali lang kasi hindi makukuha. At ako hindi ko nakukuha, hindi ko mahabol. Noon, isang tingin ko lang, ganun lang. Hindi ko yung sabihin, 1, 2, 2, 9, 7, hindi. Ako noon, ganun, ang tingnan ko. Tapos basahin ko na, ito ba? Ngayon, sa katingin ng maraming maganda, no, wala na yung arithmetic. <laughs> Sabi mo, i-post na lang nila doon sa PTV4, permanent yung doon. NBI CIDG. So, para makita ng lahat. Nalagyan mo na. Ha? Thank you. Uh, <laughs> si Moka. Halika. Ito, may program ito sa OFW. Ikaw, sige, turo-turo sa dili mo. Uh, ito si Moka. She's also one of the girls dito, local, working hard for the OFW. She's been there. She, she goes there around. I, I took her uh, uh, in as a... Uh, Doha, Qatar. Doha, Qatar. She's also a worker for the OFW. And Marisa, you can always count on... And if everything fails, uh, you call me. So the, the, I, we will give them the ultimate, uh, you know, well, if nobody can stop them, when we will use the uh, liberty to God to forgive. God, I have to shoot this idiot because uh, he's no, not young society. We plead, we 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 beg, we pray. Yung mga drugista, pati yung mga illegal, illegal recruiters. Huwag naman yung ganon. Kasi do not do it. Do not, you know, you won't like it uh, doing it to your fellow men. Stop it. Because if you don't stop, Somebody will stop you. Ganon talaga yan eh. You, you give us room for... You put that up a corner as... Mga corner ang tao. And we get to be desperate. Because there is no other solution, you know, on, on you go there, bail, go there, bail, you go there, you bail almost every day, you use the minor. Nanito yan eh. Bakit may minors? Why? Bakit may matanda pati minors yan? Why? Because ang matanda ang kurir. 
Galing sa siya yung lieutenant. Tindig lang yan siya. Yung minor niya, wala ko, I'm not attributing it to any particular case. Yung minor niya, yun mag-utos, bigay mo yun sa tao sa kanto na yun, katindig. Yun ang tatakbo. Pag nahuli ng pulis yan sa kakatakbo, he goes out freely the moment after. You cannot arrest a minor below 15 years old. Pag sinabi niya minor, that moment, that instant, release the minor or else the police will go to jail. See? Yan ang sinabi ko. Do not put us in a desperate situation. Because the law has allowed itself to be broken. Drugs is a deadly menace. Then you start without thinking. Alam mo, may ay, kaibigan ko yan, he is honest, siguro everything. But if there is one in the Republic of the Philippine citizens, an official, who did us wrong, terribly wrong, Senator Pangilinan. Because he was the one who crafted the law, copied the Juvenile Offenders Act of New York and the State of Washington. Yan nga ang problema dyan eh. Kaya nagtaka ako kung bakit nanalo pa yan, paik-ik. Galit na ako sa kanya because of the situation. Because he created a generation of criminals. Why? Because when that law took effect, kung si yung sa EDSA, kita mo mag-snatch, they snatch and they run, caught on camera. That's only for show. They are arrested. They are not arrested by the barangay captain. They are taken into custody because he's a minor, 15 years old. Pag sinabi niya ay 15, labas yan. So these guys go in and out of prison every day without even a minute of lecture of the responsibility of a citizen and the sense of accountability doing it wrong. Yan ang nangyak. Kaya marami ang criminal ngayon noon mag-ganon pa. Hindi criminal na wala na yan. Yan, just polygon. Diritso. Bakit yan? Nasanay. In America, true. They're even 17 years old, pataas ang ibang state. But there is a mechanism there. Ang chan ang dapat ginawa ni Kiko Pangilinan was a law, a kolatilia or a condition provided that in every town or city there should be a correctional institution. Not to put them in prison, but to detain them and be lectured on what is right and what is wrong. And what are the responsibilities of a citizen and what is prohibited. Wala eh. Yan ang sinabi ko. Mag-aral ka ng mga Harvard ng six weeks dyan, mga seminar. Bumalik ka dito, gumawa ka ng batas. Yan ang totoo. Si Pangilinan yan. Ngayon, bakit hindi nila i-amen? Iba ang ibang senator ayaw. Bakit? Ito, gagong to. Ginawa niya yan. Hindi, lumubog siya dyan. Kasi pag hindi, pakalaban pa natin niya sa eleksyon. Tatakbo rin dyan. Baka takbo yun ang presidente. Talo pa tayo. Ngayon po, palang ikak na... Kaya ang mga, let it float. Let the, let the law remain there. Ganon yan. Sa pangilinan. Dapat yun noon, pag mayroon yan, 15 years 
good. But there has to be a correctional facility or a halfway house to do it. But he did not. It's a it's a display of uh, how would they term it? A display of uh, brilliance gone wild. Yan ang mahirap din sa siya yan. Ngayon, matagal ko nang gusto kong birahin yan. Si Pangilinan. Ma Nandiyan ba siya? Si... Suntokin na lang. Ang kita para tuloy. Yan ha. Hindi. Hindi totoo yan. M.M. Telling the truth. Walang iba. Pagtanong ko ng abogado. Ay, ito, abogado may niya dalawa. Tanong ngayon nyo. Iyan ang nakadiferensya. So, in and out, in and out, they grew up without any sense of responsibility or the more, ano, is accountability. Iyan ang nawala. So that's how it is. Now, if I kept on talking, you might as well order the breakfast. <laughs> Thank you and good night. If it would outlast me, wala wala ako bigla. Ang hiyain ko lang sa inyo, lahat kayo, pati mga judges, see to it that this country will not take a spin. Pinapasa Diyos ko na yung sitwasyon namin sa pinpin. Gusto ko nalang marimpong yung pinpin. Gusto eh, para naman ko yung organization namin.
ako sabi ko, ito lang ang mapangako ko at gagawin ko talaga. I will stop corruption in government. Yaman 